So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ain't Raven here with another video. Uh, and the Ravens have made it official by signing Alejandro Villanueva to a two-year deal uh, worth up to $14 million. And that was surprising. Uh, eight mil of that deal is fully guaranteed. I did not see that coming. Now, while a lot of us expected them to sign an offensive lineman post-draft and post-May 3rd to where it wouldn't count against the compensatory pick formula, I didn't expect it to be for this much. And I think that's that's probably why Alejandro was like, OK, cool, Ravens, I'll wait. No rush. If you're going to pay me all of this money in this third, fourth, fifth wave of free agency. Yeah, then I'll I'll wait it out. I'll sit back and chill. No rush. I'll be here when we get there. Uh, but it, that that part is surprising. But Ravens get a guy with some versatility. And this could work out very, very well for the Baltimore Ravens. Reason being, because Ronnie Stanley, you have Ronnie Stanley who's coming back uh, from his leg injury. Now, we all hope and expect that Ronnie Stanley comes back at 100%. We hope that there are no setbacks. Uh, there's no, there are no problems with Ronnie Stanley when he gets back. And he can get back to being one of the best left tackles in the league once he returns. But at the same time, Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. That's exactly what the Baltimore Ravens are doing with this move. They are staying ready so they ain't got to get ready. So just in case Ronnie Stanley isn't a full goal, just in case Ronnie Stanley isn't 100%, and just in case Ronnie Stanley isn't ready all the way, you don't have to rush him back, and you will have an insurance policy just in case. Now, that's for the left side. But the right side, the right side was probably where the Ravens and a lot of fans had the biggest question marks about their offensive line. And initially, when the reports came out that they were going to sign uh, Alejandro Villanueva, I was thinking, OK, well, that's going to be a nice insurance policy as a just in case. Uh, but he doesn't even have to be a starter. But with this money, that's starter money. That if you're paying somebody this much money at this point in free agency, that's starter money. Now, me, we've even got questions from subscriber videos coming out later on where I really felt like maybe, hey, Tyree Phillips. Maybe Tyree Phillips with a full offseason. You know, last year he was a rookie and he didn't have a full offseason. I know a lot of people were down on Tyree Phillips last year, but I'm like, let's give him a fair shot. Because he did show you some stuff. And most importantly, he showed you that he got hard for the squad, man. That play where he picked up the fumble, he looked like Lamar Jackson. He looked like a, a super shredder version of Lamar Jackson. But he was looking like Lamar. I said, okay, wait a minute. Lamar done put on some weight. But no, it was Tyree Phillips. But I thought that the Ravens were going to give him an opportunity to be their right tackle, especially with Orlando Brown Jr. Because you know this the trade with Orlando Brown Jr., him not being a Baltimore Raven, I think I'm I'm pre I'm like 99% sure that was always part of the plan for the past couple of years because you know they got to pay Lamar Jackson, you know they're going to pay Mark Andrews, so there was going to be an odd man out. They weren't going to pay uh, Orlando Brown Jr. as well after paying their quarterback and after paying their tight end and then they were going to pay the the offensive lineman too after they already paid Ronnie Stanley. I mean, no, nah, I just you didn't see it coming. And, and especially after they, as, as soon as they paid Ronnie Stanley, you knew. You knew that that was a wrap for Orlando Brown Jr., like, officially, officially. But anyway, I, I always felt like, uh, or not always, but especially this offseason, uh, I, I really felt like Tyree Phillips was going to be that guy. He was going to be that backup plan. He was going to be that, that option for the Ravens at the right tackle position. But again, this money for Alejandro Villanueva, this says otherwise. It says otherwise. And this lets us know, like, hey, whether it's on the left side or the right side, it's going to be on the right side. But I think the left side, again, an insurance policy, just in case Ronnie Stanley ain't good to go. But that money, <laughs> that ain't for no backup. That certainly ain't for no backup. And this will make those Ravens and Steelers games that much more interesting. It's going to make them that much more fun. Alejandro Villanueva having been a Steeler for so long, it's going to make it that much more fun. 
And I know a lot of Steelers fans gonna come on here and be like, oh man, that guy, Alejandro Villanueva, he's terrible. He's not a good pass blocker. He's not even a good run blocker. What do you guys get him for? You pay him all that money? We'll see how it all works itself out, man. Because that is one thing. And I know Ravens wouldn't necessarily be developing him. Um, but Ravens, when it comes to offensive linemen, they do a pretty good job overall. They do a pretty good job. So maybe the coaching staff with the Baltimore Ravens, maybe they could be like, they could show him some different things he might not have seen in Pittsburgh. They could show him a few different techniques and whatnot. And, and they can really uh, get the best out of Alejandro Villanueva. That's going to be fun when it comes to the speakers. That's going to be fun hearing that name when it comes to the speakers. Alejandro Villanueva. But, yeah, and then as far as when he's, like I told y'all before, when it came out that we were interested in Alejandro Villanueva, when he's blocking all these teams in the regular season, he's going to be going like that, chilling or whatever, blocking, holding up his man, doing his thing. But when this comes to playing the AFC North, the Steelers in particular, I told y'all, man, E. Honda, man, it's coming. It's happening. He, he got, man, when it comes to them Pittsburgh games, and you know at least one of them, at least one of them going to be prime time. And you know how the NFL does. If, if it's prime time and it's Ravens in Pittsburgh, then it's going to be in Pittsburgh. And, I mean, well, hopefully we get to play it on time this time because, you know, last year was kind of a, a medium-sized yikes. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the move, man. I'm, I'm cool with the move. Ravens are clearly uh, not in developmental mode when it comes to the offensive line. And they want guys, they want their anchors to be guys that are ready right here, right now, that have all the experience in the world and are just, boom, plug and play, ready to go. Not a project guy, not a maybe this could work out guy. No, they want guys that are veterans and a mix of youth too. Because again, remember Big Cleveland. Remember Big Cleveland. So those games should be fun too, especially against the Browns. But they want guys that are ready right here, right now. So I, I can understand this signing again. The money, that's the biggest shock to me. That's the biggest shock to me. I thought that it was going to be Maybe a, 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 I thought it was going to be like maybe a one year deal, maybe a one year deal for like, ah, uh, maybe like five, six mil, maybe, maybe even four mil, but like five, six mil at the max. So that's something right there. Now, again, it is up to 14 mil and it's eight mil guaranteed. So this, this whole thing could end up being a one year, $8 million deal. So we might not be that far off, uh, but because, yeah, again, the, the overall numbers and the up to numbers look a lot better than what the actual deal is. Because whenever it comes to a deal, you always got to look at that guaranteed money. Don't look at the overall, but just look at that guaranteed money because that's the most important thing because that's the only thing that's guaranteed. So I guess that's that. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Alejandro Villanueva officially told the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm out.